When it's time to release a salesperson, in most cases, it should not be a surprise. I say in most cases because the salesperson may have done something like lied to a prospect or customer, which should result in them being released on the spot. If you have a salesperson who is not hitting their quota, their KPIs, or their goals that you set for them, and you're considering releasing him or her, here is what I suggest. Put them on a written performance improvement plan. It's called a PIP. I understand this is controversial and it may not be the best route for all job functions, but in sales, which is a numbers, which is numbers based, this gives the salesperson a fair shot at making it and hopefully they will turn things around and become a star. The performance improvement plan at a minimum should include what the goals were for that salesperson and how the salesperson performed against those goals. Two, what the goals, KPIs, or quota are that the salesperson needs to meet before the next deadline. Three, include a plan to help them succeed with coaching and training and mentoring. And let them know that if they do not meet the requirements you are laying out, they will be released from the company. If they fail through the performance improvement plan and you need to release them, handle it the way you would want to be treated. Don't go into a lot of detail. The performance improvement plan should have said what needed to be said about the process. Just keep it short. Check with your human resources department for anything else you might need to say or not say. You know, releasing someone is never a fun or an easy thing to do. But I have always believed, however, that when one door closes, another door opens. Everyone can succeed somewhere. Hopefully you will end up on good terms with your salesperson and they will walk through a better door for them. If you have done everything you can to help them succeed, that's the best you can do.